Just let. Well, Paul, just talking ahead to uh, 2028 LA Olympics, the deal is obviously done unless something drastic happens in their careers from a health or injury point of view. With these two, two will be selected from each country, capped at a ranking bracket. Yeah. Yeah, it'll certainly uh, still be out there doing the business, I'm sure, in five years' time. Again, Tinder not quite finding a range issue into the front corners. No, I mean, it's. It would be. Down. Well, that's a rare error. Honestly, very yeah. rarely see that from Naila Gillis. She's been really stingy with the errors throughout this event. Mistake that time um, from Naylor. One, two. Just felt there like Tina just tried to do too much there. Just needed to get underneath the ball and lift. Unbelievable shot. That really is. Whoa. Yeah, outrageous. Extraordinary shot off a cross court. The volley boasts off a cross court. Just took all the pace out of the ball there as well at full stretch. Look at that. Perfect angle. Hard going out there for Tinegillis. Hard to win a point. It's an absolute missile right that box. Naylor launches Three, from that backhand back corner. Check that out. Yeah, I mean, both feet off the ground there. Absolutely slammed it in there. She's coming out with some shots that you haven't necessarily seen very often in her repertoire. Let's say the volley boast. 
And then that massive low kill. You add that to the movement and the defensive play, it's starting to deal with a very, very difficult customer at the highest level. Yeah, and you sense that. Tinner's obviously out there feeling the brunt of it. And he's getting a little bit frustrated. Nothing that she's sort of throwing at her older sister is making any sort of dent. I mean, aside from that one error on the forehand drop shot from Naylor, she's pretty much been immaculate out there so far, I'd say. Out. And that is a great squeeze. Look at the body language of Tinner. Yeah, she's getting more more frustrated. Yep. Can someone get the ball? Anyone? Well, we've seen a few balls disappear <laughs> this week. <laughs> I mean, this would be a nightmare for Naylor if, the, if there's a, a new ball to, to have to warm up because she's absolutely flying out there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It is a we have seen it, and it's changed um, circumstances in matches when they can't find them. The new ball comes into play. Nelly Gillis was the one that called Thank for you. the new ball when she was up against Gina Kennedy. That was when she was two one down. Yeah, massive turning point, wasn't it? Never look back. Four two. Unfortunately, somebody found it. Such a huge arena. So that ball goes over the top of the front wall. It can travel for miles. <laughs> it's, it's probably the biggest arena I've ever experienced, Paul. Hitting with a lot of power here, but it's not really going anywhere. Down. And then making the error. So this is really... Five, two. Tough time for Tina Gillis. A lot of the, the length hitting is falling short around the service box area, so that power that she's generating is kind of being wasted. Yeah. No, I agree. You just look at the the length hitting alone. Naylor's definitely winning the length battle so far. Tucking that ball away into the back of the court. Not necessarily with pace. And now, three That's the first decision we've had. It is. Four, five. Tina Gillis just apologising to her older sister. It is, you're right. Mid-stage of the second game, first decision, given it as a stroke. No review. If she was absolutely adamant about it, she would have reviewed this, Naylor. So do you think Naila Hillis will be aware of the fact that she'd go to number four? I think so, yeah. I would uh, be very convinced. And if she, if she does win and she's asked, I, I be, and she says no, I, surprising. She's starting Not to a, make a you. bit of headway now. Right box, five all. Drawn level at five all, Tina Gillis.
Better, way better from Tinner. Short again though, down that backhand wall. No left. Yeah, you start to see she's coming out of that zone a little bit now. Left Nelly front. Gillis. She's up to her quality to the front. The younger sister. It's actually not that many years between them. It's uh, about a year and a half. Well, 27 and 26. I'm not sure what the exact birthdays are. Star signs. <laughs> Favourite food. <laughs> oh, my word. This is, I mean, that's I know, this is when it becomes yeah. outrageous. And this is what, just, it's literally like cannons going in. It's, Tina Gillis is starting to play the squash that we've seen her take the best players in the world to five. Right button, please. She's responding. Seven, five. It's a big rally. Naylor will be desperate to put this one on the board. She was 5-2 up. In by far the best phase of the match from Tinna. Oh, the movement, it's a challenge. I know, I know. She's hit the tin. This, that was Hello. quite brutal. Really was. First point for quite Six some time for Nelly Gillis. Originally she was 5-2 up in this second. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's a great shot. 7 all. It's a great shot. Judged to perfection, the length. Look at this, one bounce, rolls out the neck. Stunning volley. Well, an appeal on a pick up there from Tinachilis. Down. Pick up is good. She's reviewing. You want to review? That was the first shot of the rally. Player review. That we're going back to look at. Tina on the good decision. It's a very assertive return of serve, wasn't it, from Tina? That's the one. So the service box area. Oh, she got it, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Quite easily. Yeah, yeah, it was way up. It was way up. 
So review disappears. As does the lead for Tina. Yeah, she's regrouped very well here, Nelly Gillis. A7. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a bit ambitious. There was a couple of volleys in there where right she box. should have taken the pace off Tinegillis, particularly on the forehand, seven. to put pressure on her sister. Unfortunately, that shot selection was all at sea. First phase dominated to 5-2 from Nelly Gillis, and then it was Tinegillis that went all the way through to seven. Now we're having a resurgence from Naylor as she starts to pack it on towards the back end of this second. What a steal this would be. If she can convert this second game, it's going to be agonising for Tina. Really started to hit a stride in the middle phase of the game. Nail has been as tough as nails here. Remain composed. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there, Paul. <laughs> oh, she read that it, didn't she? She read yes. it. Hello. Eight, nine. She was off. As Nelly Gillis was playing. Yeah, it was clever, clever angle that she used there, Tinner. Just rolled the ball across the front wall, so it was always running away from Naylor. Nothing there for her to get a racket on. Yep, yeah, it's a lot of power. Another Fisk. 10-8, game ball. Shape for Nelly Gillis. Looking for a massive two love lead. She's getting everything back again. That's an unbelievable she shot. It back as well. Oh, it's going to be a stroke. Tina. She's talking about a double. She nearly lost the discipline on that that rally, Paul, which is uh, ten out, nine, ten. dangerous. She was convinced there was a double, and she went for that cross court and it quite kind of lapsedaisical. If you, if you understand what I mean, because I, I have certainly no idea. don't. No, lapsadaisically. <laughs> lapsadaisical. Lee. Mm. Anyway, now what I'm trying to say is that she got out of jail a bit there and has given herself an opportunity to try to take this into a tie break.
Oh, she's hit the frame. Down. You can't write it. She's only hit the frame, Tenor. Paul. Unbelievable stuff. What a save this has been from Tenor. This is a massive, massive point in this match, I feel. <laughs> I reckon so too, Paul. I don't mean point as in the rally. <laughs> I mean point as in stage. Agreed. But the rally's quite big as well. Power hitting going on from both sisters in this first rally of the tie break. Oh, oh she's doing some sprinting here. Well played. It's gone. That, that was a fantastic that, rally. Yeah. Wasn't it? She worked that ball beautifully straight down the line. Worked off the pace of the cross court. See this here. There. Stepped into it. Gave a lovely clear line as well. There was no funny business going on. Clear line to the ball, unable to get it. Bouncing on her toes, just sending out a message to her sister that's all, all is well on the physical front. Stuff again from Hillis covering that front court. Here we go again. Down. Oh, she squeezed an error. That's through okay. frustration, you feel, from Tenor. Well, that was the biggest reaction we've heard all week from the crowd, the but two games to love. blows her cheeks, pushes her sister away in a, in a kind of jest. But the problem she's got is that Mela, the elder, is now leading by two games to love. This is a tremendous match between these two. 39 minutes. A two love lead for the number three seed.